welcome to the Tuning In Podcast, where we talk self-care, intuition, and our internal guidance system. We cover woo-woo topics in an approachable and practical way. I'm your host, Dana Evans of Alignful.com. As always, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Tuning In Podcast. This week, I want to share what I have dubbed the self-care manifesto. While I did write this, when creating it, it felt more like a download. The words, the information completely flowed from me to the keyboard. I think of it as words to live by and really a way to be and to experience this life. It is something that I read often and try to follow with as much integrity as possible. If this resonates with you, I actually have a version that you can download and read on the website at alignful.com slash manifesto. And we'll put that in the show notes. So without further ado, I'm going to read this to you. I am willing to set aside others' needs and put your needs first. I am willing to listen. I am hopeful and eager to start things off right. I love you. I know I may say and think otherwise, but deep down, I do love you. I want to take care of you, of us, but I am often distracted by the outside world. By others' opinions. I want to say no more, though we both know it's not that easy. Instead, I will say not so much. I pledge to become aware of you and be more conscious of your needs. I promise to stop dismissing your quiet calling, your whispers. I will start to listen, to pay attention, to see answers from within. I promise to show up for you to treat you with respect, and to honor your wisdom. I value our time together and will demonstrate this by taking care of you. I mean it. I will take care of my body, my skin, my inside and outside. Even more, I will take care of my heart, my soul, and my emotions. I will honor my feelings and my voice. I will not ignore or dismiss them. I know I am enough that my voice matters. I am worthy and complete. I know that together we can do anything and everything, but we have to do it together. Not from a place of dislike or mistrust. I understand that is my responsibility, to keep coming back to you, to ask, to seek inward and to listen. For all answers are within. You know and I know but I pretend not to know. I ask others, I read, I study and I seek answers that are already within me. I forget about you and treat you like a costume. But that stops now. We are in this together. We are a team, the A team. I know that when I see this truth as the ultimate truth, I will know I am complete. I understand that the only way to feel better, truly, is to take care of me better, to love me fully, to take time to relax, to be alone, and to own my thoughts, feelings, and my voice. That feeling better does not come from others, from products or things. These are fun and lovely, yes, but ultimately it is up to me. I make me happy. To do that, I must honor you, self. So thank you for being there for me, for continuing to show up, even when I put you down, for having unyielding confidence in me and us. Thank you for loving me when I couldn't love myself, for being the one I can return to when all else feels lost. Thank you for holding this space for me in this life. I am forever grateful for you. Thus, I am forever grateful for me. I now know that self-care isn't as simple or basic as a pedicure or massage or more, but it is as simple and basic as showing up for myself, for you, 
for listening to you and respecting your voice. Self-care is how I am being with you, with me. That is by far the most simple yet difficult task I have in this life. It is also the most important. To make me number one and to live my life from this place of completeness. From this day forward, I endeavor to do just that. To be here for me and you and us. To love and appreciate and experience the fullness of this presence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. With love and appreciation, me. All right, friends, there you have it. I know that I got chills multiple times during reading that. It definitely resonates on a very deep level. I wrote this quite a while ago, and it never fails to remind me of the truth behind what I'm doing, what we're doing, and how we are here to show up on this earth together. So take from it what you will. I encourage you to listen to it more than once. Share it if you think it will resonate with someone else. And remember that this life is for you. It's designed for you. It's working in your favor. And your role is to tune in and start connecting to the inner part of yourself. Not just the external, but the inner voice, the whisper that is begging, asking to be heard. That is up to you to listen. Thank you so much for joining me this week in a short yet powerful episode of the Tuning In podcast. As always, for more information, you can go to alignful.com. And to get the free manifesto PDF download, go to alignful.com slash manifesto. Until next week, may you find joy and listen to your heart.